Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? I have a new review for you and this is actually going to be a movie review and not just any movie review but a book to movie adaptation movie review. I really wanted to review this movie because I've read the book and I thought it would make a really good movie and we just have to talk about it because Jace Whelan, I mean Alex Pettifer, is in this movie and I thought I would give my two cents on how he did and how the book to movie adaptation worked out and so this is my review. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's get started with this review. So I'll give you the lowdown on the movie. DJ Caruso directed this movie. It's a Michael Bay production, so there's going to be a lot of action, adventure, things blowing up, and all that craziness. Alex Pettifer, who plays John Smith, aka number four in the movie. Timothy Oliphant, who plays John's guardian. There's also Diana Agron, who plays Sarah in the movie. You also may know her from Glee, who plays Quinn for Bray. And we also have Kaylin McAuliffe. I didn't know this, Kaylin is actually the main character in the movie adaptation of Flit, so I didn't know that, and she is very cute and adorable in the movie as well. Yes. Also, Teresa Palmer, who plays number six, is very badass in the movie. And lastly, Jake Abel, who plays the jealous ex-boyfriend. You may recognize him. He also plays a character in the Lightning Thief movie. And so there were a lot of familiar faces in this movie. A lot of book to movie adaptations these other actors were in. So I thought that was pretty cool and weird coincidence. So those are the actors. Very pretty, shiny actors. I was blinded by how attractive they were. Alex was very, very nice. Let's talk about the synopsis. If you have read the book, you will know what this movie is all about. Our main character, number four, he and Henry, who is his guardian, travel from town to town. Whether number four's true identity of him being an alien is compromised. Henry and number four locate next in Paradise, Ohio, and there number four takes up the identity of John Smith original, I know. John is actually one of nine kids from this planet called Lorraine and these nine kids have superpowers and these are called legacies and they are hiding out on earth from this evil alien race and they are trying to kill them in numerical order and from the title of the movie you would have guessed John is number four. He is to die next apparently. John and Henry move to Paradise, Ohio. There he befriends Sam and meets the lovely Sarah. The plot rolls out from there. Evil aliens trying to kill the good aliens, John trying to stay alive and protect the people he loves and all of that stuff. So let's get down to the movie part of uh, my quick movie review. I thought for a teen action flick it was very good. Basically why I picked up the book and watched the movie was because of the awesome action, the kick-ass fight scenes and the explosions and it was crazy. John using his superpowers, his legacies. Number six is badass. She can fight hella good. Uh, that was extremely entertaining. Uh, the special effects were awesome, especially how they displayed their superpowers. That was great as well. Definitely go to this movie for a really good teen action flick. You know, nothing too deep. You're definitely entertained for a good two hours. So that was all well and good. Let's now talk about the book versus movie adaptation and what I thought of it. I don't want to alarm anyone that hell has frozen over, but I actually preferred the movie over the the book, I know. Shouldn't be a surprise if you have watched my book review. I wasn't too keen on some aspects of the book. Some I did like, but some kind of bogged down the book and why I picked up the book, which was the awesome action world coming to an end, superpowers and alien race sci-fi goodness. Like any other book to movie adaptation, there was a lot of trimming down of the story and what you got in the novel. It's good and it's bad. Good trimming down was what I had problems in the book was the cheesy cheesy romance between John and Sarah's character. I thought that was supremely cheesy and corny in the book. In the movie, there's a lot of that being trimmed down, albeit there was some cheesy corny moments but it was tolerable. The romance was not bad in the movie. Still corny but very minimal compared to the book. So I really appreciated that 
a whole lot. So that was good. There was a lot of trimming down of the plot and backstory of John's character and where he came from. So there was a lot of plot missing, albeit I know it's a Michael Bay production, but still. Everything though did hit major plot points that were in the novel, so that was good. There were some alterations, of course, but I didn't mind those alterations and those adjustments to get where they wanted to go. It was very fast-paced that way. So reading the book first definitely helped with the plot of the story because so much of it was trimmed down in the movie. So with that being said guys, I'm going to give I am number four with Jace Wayland, I mean Alex Pettifer, <laughs> a watchable rating. Overall, I thought it was really good for what it was and it had a lot of good action and adventure and special effects. There were explosions. I was highly distracted and entertained at Alex Pettifer. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. Hopefully I could do more book to movie reviews in the future. Maybe we'll see. Maybe I might make a month of book to movie adaptation reviews. But yeah, <laughs> that's everything guys. Hope you guys have an awesome Monday and I will talk to you guys later.